Okay, so after that little crash, I did go ahead and purchase the uh, NASA flight controller for my DJI 450, uh, F450, and I've got it all installed here. Um, the flight controller is actually inside, which I like. The GPS is on top. I'm able to put my battery on the top now, so I really don't have anything hanging underneath. And um, I think it's a little bit cleaner that way. Or actually, it's a lot cleaner that way. I haven't flown it yet. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing that here in the next day or so. Uh, but what I really wanted to do is to do a comparison of this DJI F450 with the NASA controller. That's about a, I guess, $650 to $700 uh, quadcopter there. And what I decided to do is build another one but this is the knockoff version this is going to be a, it's called the whirlwind fy 450 and it's very similar not quite as good a quality it does have the bottom plate uh with the power distribution board built in and other than that i mean it's the so dimensions are the same. It looks the same. Uh, the, the quality of the arm is a little bit weaker, but it's a whole lot cheaper as well. Um, I've got the Hobby King 2210 motors on here. These are the 1000 kV versions of the 2213s that I run on my tricopter, and it works really well on the tricopter. I like them. So I went ahead and ordered the thousands for this. I didn't realize they're a little bit smaller. I think those are 50 something grams. These are 47 grams. So I was kind of disappointed that they're a little bit smaller, but I'm going to try them anyway and see how they fly. I'm not going to be using this for FPV. So I'm not going to have a lot of extra weight on there. I'm going to fly it with a 2200 milliamp hour battery and I think they'll probably be okay. Actually, what I'm trying to do with this, I want to learn how to flip these things um, and I figure you know this is the way to go rather than to do it with my DJI um, so anyway yeah I'm curious about the flight quality of the $700 quadcopter versus this one which is gonna be ready to fly um, not in counting not not including the transmitter and the receiver uh, for control about 125 bucks. Uh, I've got a variety of different flight controllers here. I've got a couple of different KK boards, uh, multi Wii right here, and um, the KK 2.0, which I have on my tricopter. And I've got a couple of more of those on the way because uh, for for 29 bucks, uh, I really like it. The main the thing I'm looking for in a flight controller is auto level. I think that's uh, really important for me. These cheaper KK boards don't have it. This multi Wii does have it. Um, so I'm going to try a couple of different controllers for this quadcopter. And we'll see. We'll do a $700 versus $125. Um, I'll be using the Turnigy Plush 18 uh, speed controllers. And yeah, that's it, you know. Um, I've also got this H copter that I've been working on that's just about ready to fly and I'm using the Hextronic 700, D700 motors on that. Uh, 700 kV big torquey motors swinging 11 or 12 inch props. So that's where I am right now. Uh, looking forward to doing a lot more FPV with the DJI quad as well as my tricopter and getting this in the air and i'll show you a comparison between the two this might be a good way um, to get started on a budget and without having to spend a whole lot of money um, it's you just put it together it's not uh complicated at all uh, just buy the parts bolt them together uh, probably the most complicated part is programming the flight controllers uh, these are pretty simple you just you know plug your receiver and your speed controllers in and you've got three gain pots for uh, pitch roll and yaw. The multi Wii is a little bit more complicated because you've got a lot more settings. You have to hook it up to USB and do it with your flight with your uh, flight controller software on the computer. Uh, there's a whole lot more adjustments that you can make on this. 
so it makes it a little bit more difficult but I think it's a better board actually than the, the cheaper um, KK boards um, like I said it's got auto level and that in and of itself is uh, is worth every penny in my opinion um, I've actually dropped a quad with a with one of these on it uh, just like I did this DJI in the video and it got about halfway from its altitude to the ground I flipped it into auto level mode and it stopped in just a couple of couple of more feet falling it righted itself and just stopped so it was pretty impressive it saved the quad um, so I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with this or the KK 2.0 on the budget quad um, either way they're about the same price uh, they'll still keep you around $125 but anyway I'll get that flight video up or I'll get that uh, video up I'm waiting actually for a couple more motors and a couple more speed controllers those should be here in the next couple of days and then I'll get this together and um, you'll see a maiden flight on it